Hi everyone, Shoney from Shoney Gaming here. Had a great flight yesterday, and uh, today we'll be flying uh, flying another two hours at least. Uh, sorry, I would have started at uh, one o'clock, but unfortunately something came up and I had to start at two o'clock. Things happen, life happens. So yeah, um, today, uh, yesterday, by the way. We had a great flight we had a four four and a half hour flight which was pretty long for a first flight and we flew from uh, Lelystad to Amsterdam Rotterdam Eindhoven Maastricht and then on to Frankfurt and it was beautiful it was a great flight it was a great flight so landing went perfect everything went perfect so yeah let's hope that we'll have that one today uh, let's see well today I have another flight for you and we'll be hitting with a bit of luck, Castle Neuschwanstein, yes. So let's see. Today we are starting out here in Frankfurt, then going up to Stuttgart, then on to Castle Neuschwanstein. It will be there and we'll be landing at uh, Franz Josef Strauss International Airport here in Munich. So if we go to Google Maps, then we will see here. We, we're, oh, this is Stuttgart. Yeah, Frankfurt here. We'll be starting right here. And we will be flying on to Stuttgart. Making our way across Bavaria onto here. Heading to Schloss Neuschwanstein. Quite near to Garmisch-Partenkirchen, by the way. And then on to München. We'll be heading the airport there. So let's have a look shall we let's see we are already in the game and let's see if we can plan our flight it shouldn't be all too hard with a bit of luck so yesterday we landed not on Dusseldorf we went past Köln here, Frankfurt. Yes, that's where we were, and we will set this, this as our departure. Then we need an arrival, and that will be. Let's make this a little. I think it's somewhere over Munich here. There we go. That's where we want to go. Yes. All right, set that as our arrival. Then make sure we are on a VOR to VOR flight. Nasty thing is it will then automatically add a bunch of waypoints, which we don't want. I want to fly my own path. Taking a bit of the sights. Remove that one. Remove MAH and AH. And then finally the S. DMS. All right. Now, what we want to add is EDDS Stuttgart. I can enter right here and it should pop up. There it is. No, it's not there. Oh, Stuttgart's not there yet. That's actually one of the airports that's not into the game yet. This is really annoying. But we'll find an airport quite close to it. Let's see. Uh, where do we need to go? Where do we need to go? Where do we need to go? Not Mannheim. No. Uh, let's see. What do we have close by? Well, at least we've... Already found Castle Neuschwanstein, so that's good. And Stuttgart. Ubers. Ubersberg. Where's that? That's a bit of an annoyance. But let's see if we can find something quite near to. Stuttgart. Oh, let's see. Yes, Ubersberg. There's, so Stuttgart should be somewhere over there. But if I make this my waypoint... <laughs> Hello! <laughs> it's a visual flight rule, uh, Flo. And hi, Andalia. Nice to see you again. <laughs> nice to see you again. 
So it's a visual flight rule. You can fly by instruments or you can fly by uh, visual flight rules. And uh, visual uh, by instruments, uh, y you can see it like commercial airliners usually use the, 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 the instrument flight rules because they they go up higher. If you use visual flight rules, you can you can fly much, much lower. So you can take in much more of the countryside and stuff like that. And it's more you fly by 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 uh, by sight and by waypoints. Um, and landmarks that you know. Uh, sometimes uh, p uh, pilots who use visual flight rules even just have a normal roadmap on their on their on their uh, on their laps while flying. I've actually seen that happen, and it was quite a shock for the first time when I saw that. I was like, "Wait, what? You're using a roadmap?" Yeah, he was using a roadmap. Worked quite worked fine, by the way. All right, so this should be our flight. One hour. 75 minutes, 242 nautical miles, which comes down to about uh, 500 kilometers, a little less. But that should be our flight for today. Now we'll be starting on Frankfurt on runway uh, 36. So if we look and we zoom in, we can see that our runway is will be starting all right there. So. Actually, I want to start on runway 18 because then I'll be heading out straight. So there, that's much easier. Now I will depart from runway 18, head up, probably, ooh, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Let's see, because we might have a wind issue. That's why it's using runway 36. I think that's the problem. Okay, so no, that's that's fine. That's fine. We'll be using runway 36. No problem. And we will be landing on runway 08 left. And that is that runway right there. All right. And to make things easier, we want to have an easier approach. Yeah, <laughs> indeed, who needs rules? Yeah. Yeah. You rule breaker, you. Let's see if we can add. Nope. That's a bit of a bother always. Let's see. Yep. Still that same issue. Still that same issue, which is really annoying. All right, so we're there. And let's see if I now I use to add that. Yeah, that, that's, that looks good. That looks good. I'll take that approach. That looks nice. So I'll be coming in on M and E, taking a slightly right turn and then straight onto runway 08 left. By the way, the numbers 08, uh, as you can see, you have 08 left, 08 right. And this is 26 right and 26 left. Those are uh, the numbers they get through the uh, the way the degrees work uh, and and the way it's aligned in, in in degrees on the compass. So that's a nice thing. Taking a nice sip of coffee. Coffee, very important. Coffee. Anyone who knows me, coffee is very important. It's the blood of life. Oh. Anyway. Well. I think we are done with that part. Then we go to weight and balance because we want a bit of a fuel. 75% should once again be enough. It was more than enough yesterday. We had like 30% left in a four and a half hour flight. So that's promising when we go up to the six, six hour flights. And yes, we have a few six hour flights over open ocean, none no less. ATC options. Well, once again, PH, SNG, show, Ooh. show me, gaming. There we go. All right. Well, we have the right aircraft. Now, flight controls. That's weather and time is live because we're still on European time, so I can use live time. Live. Live players to make a thing so uh, to make it a bit in more interesting. Live traffic. Are we doing live players? No, nah, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's do 
let's do that for now for now all right well then we're good to go we are good to go I just did, <laughs> actually. <laughs> That's my first ban. And after only my second stream. Who knew? My second stream and we already have a ban. Congratulations. You made my ban list. <laughs> Beat me to the ban hammer, yes. All right. Let's uh, set up uh, the controls. I've... Uh, put my mixture on just about 75% so that should give me a good mixture now we are also going to set uh, the elevation so should we have to use the autopilot we can engage it and it will just fly on There we go. All right. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Let's see. Let's put in once again the altitude. And we have a setting of at least 350. So I think I'm going to 2,000 feet. That should be enough. Now let's make it three. Just, just in. You know what? Let's settle in the middle. 2,500. Right, so that's the setting. Then we go to PDF once again. We'll set in the wind direction, which is always helpful. Well, exactly. If we would have gone the other way, the wind would have been, we would have had tailwind. And you don't want that when you're uh, taking off. You want wind in front of you to give you the lift. So that's that. Back. And then we go to bearing. And there's my nav data. That's the first point we'll have to reach, and that's 79.3 nautical miles away. Then we go to the other settings right here. We will make sure that we have a bit more of a view right there. All right. Yeah, that, that'll do. That'll do. Okay. And we can also new we can also do that with this map. We'll zoom it in just a little bit more. So we'll have a zoomed in view here, a zoomed out view here of my VFR map. That should be sufficient. Alright. Now let's see if one little trick. working as well because I added a VFR map so you can see right here where I'm flying isn't that cool all right now let's throttle up and we are off actually remember to put on the timer this time so we can time if we have a two hour flight and we head up to about 55 knots before we rotate there we go 55 60 that's good I'll take it I'll take it oh it's really is a beautiful day look at that guys beautiful skies Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'll be slowly making my turn already. Set the Sierra November Golf. Continue for East 
There we go, there we have it. Frankfurt Airport right there. The largest city in the state of Hesse in Germany. Nearly a million people. So that's pretty big. Seven seven hundred and fifty thousand people. Alright. Fifteen hundred feet. I don't think I'll take that. I don't think I'll take that. Let's throttle back a bit. So we don't Send use up the all the fuel. Alright, so we are acknowledging the frequency Frankfurt change. Oh, destination I'm most looking forward to. That's a good question. Um, Caribbean. I'm really interested in flying over the Caribbean. Uh, but also um, New Zealand. I'm looking very forward to New Zealand. I, I, I love the... Uh, uh, of course, the Lord of the Ring movies. I love them. So, seeing those sights actually from the sky, that that will be awesome. Um, what else? Lord of the Ring flyover. Well, actually, yeah, I kind of planned that. <laughs> to, to be honest, I, 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 funny enough, um, flying um, uh, the north and south island of New Zealand, I. Basically, plant my flights from all the sites uh, from one one site to another. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to see uh, to see a few things uh, around there. So yeah. Yes, I am a nerd. Oh, and then some. And then some. And I'm proud of it. I'm king of the nerds. And now I'm flying king of the nerds. Actually, I'm a lord of the nerds. So there's your nerd reference. And, but yeah, there, there are a lot of lovely locations which I like to see. Um, which I'm really interested in. And, 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 and we can all visit them together. It's so cool. I mean, Asia, you know, I'm looking forward to. A lot of things in America, of course. Yeah. South America, I mean, flying over the Amazon. How cool is that? So, yeah. All right. And we are oh, once again in the sky. So that was Frankfurt, guys. Now we are on to Stuttgart. Actually, Frankfurt was one of the most important cities in the Roman Empire. Apparently. Looked it up on Wikipedia, but yeah. We are leaving uh, Hesse, the state of Hesse, and heading into Baden-Württemberg. Area 52, yeah, I heard it is possible, but I'm not sure actually, because if it's blurred out in 
big maps, then you won't see anything. So if it is implemented, there's a good chance it has to be, you have to install it like a mod or something like that. Yeah. Area 51, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Area 51, exactly. So yeah, you have to install that. Uh, it, it, I think I think it's it's. You could look it up in Bing Maps, and if it's 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 one big blur, then well, you know. Then you know. Down below, we're now flying over Darmstadt. I'm heading a bit low, so I think I'm. It is. It is implemented. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's great to hear. Funny that. I think it's just a military base or something like that. But it is, of course, it is a military base. Yeah. But... Let's see if I can get this crate up a big a bit higher. Airspace transition. Sierra November Gulf. Request clearance to transition Charlie Airspace. At the Papa Hotel, Sierra November Gulf approach. Cleared through the Charlie Airspace. Cleared through Charlie Airspace Cessna Sierra November Gulf. And we do have to get some high to uh to fly over those mountains right over there. So yeah. Well, mountains, hills. Those are not mountains yet, let's face it, those are hills. I forgot to look up the weather, by the way, this morning. Might have to do, to do, to do that in future. To Dutch people, yeah. Even the slightest hill looks like a mountain. <laughs> no aliens, that's a bummer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think you can implement a mod where you can place Godzilla into Tokyo. Which is actually pretty awesome, let's face it. Not sure if it's moving or anything, but... It's Godzilla! Just flew over Trump Towers, there's there's your alien. And one hell of an alien, oh yeah. There actually are two Godzillas in Tokyo, really. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Funny guys, those Japanese. Beautiful landscape once again. We're lucky with the weather. It's a bit cloudy, but it, it'll do. There's a Statue of Liberty in Tokyo. Really? I knew there was one in France. That's the sister. In, in Paris, there is one. And the Eiffel Tower. Why am I not? Why, why am I not surprised that they have that there? Why doesn't that surprise me somehow? take that. But that's pretty awesome that there is actually a Statue of Liberty and an Eiffel Tower there. 
Oh, Tokyo Tower. Yes, I think in uh, Flight Sim it's not there or it's not portrayed correctly, but you can download a mod for it and uh, then it will look pretty awesome, actually. And that's what I'm doing anyway, so should I uh, uh, cover some cities which, uh, which will pass in my flight plan? I'll look up if to see that there's any modifications or mods and I'll implement them so if we're flying over something it'll look accurate. And unfortunately there were no buildings in Germany. There are a few mods for German buildings but not where we were flying today. So and Kassel Neuschwanstein is is there. Because it's one of the major landmarks, so the major landmarks are always implemented. Yeah, well, I haven't looked it up actually. Maybe in the afternoon I'll have a look if it's actually there uh, now. But the Johan Cruyff uh, Stadium. Ah, it's long. I like that you have all these little little villages in, in valleys and stuff like that. Incredible that. I think I need to head up to 2000 feet actually because I'm getting a bit low. It's getting really hilly. The word you're looking for is hilly. Yeah. There, uh, there are a lot of beautiful things. Well, yeah, the northern part, but what I'm also looking for, uh, forward to is... Uh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It looks really awesome. Um, what I'm also looking for, forward to is the Amalfi Coast. Oh, cue the Monroe. Questo Wondi Wondo Quando. Awesome. Yeah, it does get a bit more unrealistic, but... Don't forget, Flo, this is out of the box. This is just unmodded. This is the game that they gave us. There's no mods yet, there's no nothing yet. It's and if you can take that into consideration, it's it's mind blowing. It really is mind blowing. Even flying this low, and we are flying like at five hundred feet below the ground, I think. Because we are really low. I'm slowly but steadily climbing to two thousand feet. So, it, 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 but it's still, it's like, wow, what kind of black magic is this? How did they do that? How? It is amazeable. And of course, it, like down here, you can see where the, 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 yeah, the transition isn't quite right. It's, you know, but still, it's amazing to look at. I am. This is real life weather. Yeah. Real life weather, current time. So, above Schwingenberg in Germany, this is the weather. So, yeah. Yes, I should, but um, yesterday I played with Malvius, or at least I looked at Malvius' stream, and he usually flies at night. Yeah, LA or New York, Paris, those are, those are great options, you know? Tokyo, of course. Hey! And the thing is, I can do it live if I'm not in... Um, well, maybe I'll... Let's see if I can change this, because you can change it real time. That's the beauty of it. I mean, there we go.
So you can do it real time. And that's the beauty of this game. It's like everything you can do in real time. I can change the weather in real time. I can change uh, change uh, the, uh, the time of day in real time. I can do everything in real time. That what's that that is what makes this game so incredibly amazing. Crash your plane in real time. Well, if I do that, I'll have to start from my save point again. So maybe don't do that. <laughs> maybe don't do that. Passive aggressive. Maybe don't do that. And it's not that spectacular as it sounded. The screen just goes black and you hear thunk. But I could, yes, it's an option. It's always an option. I have to contain myself when we fly over New York and I see Trump Tower. I have to admit that one. No, Trump is not a friend of mine. But let's avoid politicals. Let's not go political, shall we? I have to tune into Heidelberg approach. Hello, Heidelberg. Says the Papa Hotel, Sierra November Golf, two thousand three hundred feet. At the Papa Hotel, Sierra November Golf, Heidelberg approach. Continue. Heidelberg approach. I would like two coffee and a cinnamon. Could you direct me to the next flight through? This actually might be some sort of display snow texture, I'm thinking. It looks kind of white. Ah, look at that, guys. We just fly over this hill and look at that valley. Wow. Look at that valley. Ah, yeah. Café and Kuchen. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You are quite right. Café und Kuchen. Jawohl. Und verdammt gute Café. Ah, oh, look at that. That is so pretty. That is pretty, pretty, pretty. That looks kind of amazing, doesn't it, guys? That looks amazing. And as I said, you can change everything you want. You want nighttime? Let's go to this. Look at that. Ooh. Now that's one stutter. Holy moly. Yes. Even on a strong machine like mine, this takes up a lot of processing power. And that's not something you usually do, just switching it out. I mean, look at it. That's... This just gives me goosebumps. <laughs> it looks so pretty. It gives me goosebumps. Let's go back to live, shall we? It's amazing how this game looks. It is amazing. And it's a joy to fly. It really is. It, it's all... Well, of course I have the yoke and, and everything and, and, and the rudders and that helps 
immensely. I mean, if you want to play this game and you just have a keyboard and a mouse, you're not really going to enjoy it, I think. I think. Uh, at least have a controller or something like that. That'll help a little bit. Next step, get a HOTAS uh, hands-on throttle so and, uh, and stick. So you have a joystick and a throttle with it. Or upgrade to a yoke, if you can find one at the moment. They're really hard to find. But it makes the game so much more enjoyable. It really, really does. And it's, it's to be honest, it's really not that hard to fly a Cessna 172 in this game. I'm not saying real life, that's a totally different thing, but in game, it's not that bad actually. It's not that bad at all. It is a joy to fly. But make sure you have quite a hefty PC. That'll help. That'll help a lot. Yeah. As you can see, I had just when I when I changed the, the the time of day, it has to process that for quite a large area, and it will take quite a lot of time for it to uh, process that. Right, so now we have to contact approach on 129R355. 129R decimal 355 for Cessna Sierra November Gulf. And I'm now contacting approach. approach. Cessna Papa Hotel, Sierra November Gulf, 2400 feet. Cessna Papa Hotel, Sierra November Gulf approach, continue as planned. Altimeter 30 decimal 12. Let's see the altimeter is still correct. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now, let's see on the VFR map where we are. Now, well, we're still quite a way away from Stuttgart. 70 nautical miles, so that's quite a while. That's quite a while. We're now close to Heidelberg. That should be somewhere on the on the right side of the plane. Somewhere down there. again but we're still in a in a climb so that's good just used over six percent of our fuel well, the more you climb the more you use your fuel so that's that's kind of normal coffee coffee time to stay hydrated. It's not really a really beautiful day today. It started out pretty good, right over there. That's where we came from, Frankfurt. Really in the distance, but kind of cloudy. We'll have to take that into account more and more. Uh, the seasons will change because, yeah, well, I'll be flying by day mostly, but I will be using live weather. So there might be days when I won't be able to fly. Yeah. Let's 
let's hope they're not that often, but still, it could happen. It could happen. We are now flying from, Stutt uh, from Frankfurt to Stuttgart. I think in Baden-Württemberg. There should be, over there in the distance, should be Mannheim. I should still try to fly, fly for the fun of it. Yeah, but the thing is, um, officially you can't fly VFO, v, uh, VFR and VOR flights uh, at certain weather types. So that's a bit of a bother. <laughs> IFR you can always fly, especially if you have the, the correct pilot license, but VFR, no. So I might not be able to fly. Break the rules, yeah! <laughs> That'll teach them. <laughs> well, I considered also flying, uh, flying in VATSIM. Uh, for those that don't know what VATSIM is, it's a network of... Uh, real-life ATC and uh, those air traffic controllers who uh, direct your plane from A to B and uh, these dedicated people uh, they uh, they take their job uh, and take their game very their simulation very seriously very seriously so uh, but the thing is because I will be changing the daytime pretty sure I won't be able to fly that sim and it might not be such a good idea to bother people with that but yeah that's the thing For, uh, Instrumental flight rules, you can fly anytime you like, any day, at any time. Even with uh, VFR uh, rules, I cannot fly beyond 6 o'clock, actually. I have to land at 6 o'clock. Well, there are exceptions if you're above the ocean and at 6 o'clock and there is no airport in sight. You may be having a slight problem, but... sure how to solve that one. Will be interesting though. But no, you can fly from I think eight o'clock in the morning till six o'clock in the evening and then you have to uh, have to land your plane with VFR rules. And this is not the case with uh, instrumental flight rules IFR. So you can fly basically any time of day in any way. Really, really feeling the the wind flow pushing my plane to the left. Really noticing that. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I think down there is Heidelberg, if I'm not mistaken. Could this be Heidelberg? No, that's not Heidelberg. Heidelberg is much bigger. It's been bad. Slightly off course here. And then some. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? pushed about. That's quite unexpected. 
yeah, it somehow didn't update. I don't know why. I'm still figuring that out. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Let's see if we can change that. Now, I'm turning on, for the first time, the autopilot. So, we'll see. Navigation. Fly! And I'll see if I can change the information. Let's see. It should be updated. Really pretty. I think those textures are have been made in the winter. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. It looks kind of wintry, and then it chases back to summer right there. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. If they do this, for instance, for every um, every season, that would be awesome. And then implement it. That would be so awesome. If they could implement seasons within the game. And for now they can't, but... Wow, if they could do that. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. It's things like that. The sun coming through the clouds, shining its light on the landscape. Also way back there in the distance. It's like, wow. Just see through that crack in the sky there. The beautiful blue sky and the white clouds. But alas, we don't have really that good weather today. Well, off the autopilot again. Can you check now if it's updated, uh, perhaps, uh, Flo? If you're still there, of course. Up 
to Schwalgern. Heilbronn. Ah, thank you, thank you for checking. Thank you, man, thank you. Now, we're 36 minutes into the flight, so that's a quarter, about a quarter done. Flight will take a bit of luck, about two hours. So, we should be done at 4.30, about 4.30 I should be able to touch down and land this crate. And on, then on to the third leg. Slowly heading up to Germany. To, uh, to Berlin. Then on to, uh, on to Denmark. Yeah. Alright, so now we have to contact... Going to 127 decimal 6. Yeah. Center. This is Frankfurt. The Papa Hotel. Sierra November call 2500 feet. That's the Papa Hotel. Sierra November Golf Center. And as you cross airspace, you are constantly handed off and handed over to smaller and bigger airports who control certain spaces of uh, certain amounts of airspace, of course. I think above that there is even a sort of European traffic control that only steps in in emergencies or stuff like that. But they're apparently always there. Going a comfortable 79 knots. Space Force. No, that's above that. <laughs> and only ab above America. Yeah. America. The Space Force. Brave men and women. Floating around in spacesuits with guns that don't work in space because we need lasers and stuff like that and we don't have that. But they look butch. Oh, I pity the general that got that commission. I really do. You know what? I don't like you. You're you're going to do space force. <laughs> oh, that poor poor general. Why me, God? Why me? What have I done to deserve this? And then have to act like he likes it. That funny to see. <laughs> All right. Oh, it seems the weather is clearing up somewhat. It's clearing up. So. Condor 166 to your 7,800 feet above your assigned altitude. Condor. Descend and maintain 10,000 feet altimeter. Tree zero decimal one two. Descend and maintain 10,000 feet. Condor one. I think I'll be turning off the uh, the markers for the uh, for the airport. I think it doesn't look that real when you're not that immersive. I will be keeping on though the uh, the landmarks. That that's just cool. And once we hit Denmark, by the way, when we're out of Germany, we go into Denmark, and then we'll head back down to Poland and into East Eastern Europe. Then go up again onto uh, the uh, the Baltic states, so Estonia and uh, uh, Latvia and stuff like that. Onto Finland, then 
Scandinavia, so Finland, Sweden, Norway. I'm not sure how long that will take because I just did the fjords and stuff like that. And I think after flying 20 plus hours of fjords, you've seen fjords. It's like, hey, there's another fjord. Then, uh, then we'll be heading onto Iceland and then into Western Europe. So France, Spain, uh, Italy, and then onto uh, the uh, Croatia and uh, Serbia, I think. Way down to Greece. From Greece, we'll be flying uh, to Turkey, Turkey to uh, uh, Libya, I think. Partly, yeah, Libya. And then uh, Lebanon, Israel into Egypt and then all around the African coast hitting Madagascar hitting the Seychelles if they implement the airport which they haven't implemented yet but I hope they will have done that by then pretty sure they will that's one of the more interesting flights the Seychelles we have a few interesting flights to the Azores we're also going to Canary Islands and then onto the Azores and back and the longest flight is, I think, about four, four and a half to five hours, You're mostly over ocean. So that's already quite interesting. <laughs> yes, on the Azores or on the Canary Islands, uh, Flo? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm also hitting, uh, hitting the Seychelles, so that's interesting. Maladies, perhaps? <laughs> right now, any will do. Anywhere but here. <laughs> exactly. Well, if I could, I would. Yes. And because I like you guys, I would have done it. No charge. But we can do it virtually. Doesn't help you that much, but still, thought that counts. I'll fly there in my summer clothes. And when I'm in Mexico, I'll be wearing a sombrero. And a fez in Egypt. That would be a thing, wouldn't it? But by the time I'll uh, be hitting Africa, I think I'll be into about 400 hours already. Something like that. Three, four hundred hours, perhaps. So yeah, that's a lot of flights. We've done... <laughs> Down in Africa. <laughs> yeah. Do -do 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 -do. It's a shame you can't use those songs when you're flying. It's really a shame. I had a few good ones. Fly me to the moon, for instance. Fly me to the moon. But they all fly away. But they all fly away. May she rest in peace, Donna Summer. Was it Donna Summer? I don't know. If anyone else, please let me know. <laughs> no, don't. 
don't say during the stream. It's not my best feature. <laughs> you don't like my dulcet tones, do you? By the way, the, uh, you, you hear the ATC chatter sometimes, and you hear Easy and uh, Speedbird and stuff like that. Those are actually names they use in real flight. Uh, Speedbird is, I think, British Airways, if I'm not mistaken. And Speedbird is, I think, American Airlines? So they're actually they're actually codes. All right, guys, we're heading up to Stuttgart, the uh, capital and largest city of the state of Baden-Württemberg. I think we are about 15 minutes away, maybe 10, 10, 15 minutes. Population of 600,000 people, sixth largest city in Germany. Stuttgart actually started out as a stud farm for horse for war horses. That's pretty cool. still here is mostly flights flights that are around Frankfurt I'm not sure actually if we have a lot of traffic right here no we don't we really don't Generic as you can see yeah, it's pretty empty here yeah oh, there's a small plane right there there's a plane right there so that should be somewhere over here well maybe a bit further back Stupid gray clouds, yeah. Well, that's weather for you. That is weather for you. But then again, it does look pretty. It, I mean, yes, it's stupid gray clouds, but it's also, yeah, it does, it does have something. I mean, it's so, it looks so real. And it creates these beautiful open spaces where, where you can see the, the sun coming through and. <laughs> let's cancel weather altogether. You know what? Let's let's just push it out of the window. Who cares? <laughs> let's ignore weather. <laughs> Incredible. And you do get really lovely pictures. I mean, come on. This looks great. No clue what we're flying over. But it looks great. Small German cities. Off again. There we go. 
back to back, of course. Yes. Nailed it. Ooh, well. Behind me, left behind me, left behind me. There. Oh, there. Yeah. Probably. I think it's a, a public public swimming pool or something like that. Could be public swimming pool. I think. No. 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 Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Easily corrected. There we go. There we go. That's what we do. The, I think it's Mark Mark Groningen. Mark Groningen, I think. Or near Mark Groningen in either uh, in any case, sorry. Switched over to Dutch there. <laughs> Probably because of the Groningen part. <laughs> I think this is Mark Groningen. have to put on tracking here. Back. There we go. That's better. We're heading up to Stuttgart. I think in the distance right there is Stuttgart. So we're near Stuttgart in any case. Also, the home of Porsche and Mercedes. Or as we say in the Netherlands, Mercedes. See an airport right there in the distance. Not that I'm going to land there, but Really, really pretty. Climb and maintain one zero thousand feet. Your wings two zero three two. Yep, that's. I think that's Stuttgart over there. Let's have a look, shall we? Can fly a little, of course.
let's head over to Stuttgart. Which was our initial plan anyway. Unfortunately, Stuttgart Airport cannot be found anywhere. What coordinates are those, uh, Flo? This is Stuttgart, guys. A public swimming pool, so it was, yeah. <laughs> it was. You see, there you go. Even public swimming pools do not stand a chance. They will be imported into this game. Well, it's a simulator. It's not, it, it's not a, a game as such. It's not a game as such. Bit low though. But this is Stuttgart. Yep. Right down there. That looks like the train station in the distance, right there. Next to my wing now. On the left. Yep, that's a train station. That's definitely a train station. That means we are on our way to Castle Neuschwanstein. Yeah. For those that do not know Castle Neuschwanstein, Neuschwanstein is a German castle that's built in the 1900s, so 18 something. And it's also been the inspiration for uh, Cinderella Castle. Yeah, well, that is over there. Right here. I have no clue. It's big! It's probably a well-known landmark, but still. No idea. We are a bit low. So I see... I'll see if I can take it up to 3,000 feet, which is about a kilometer up. Slowly but steadily climbing. Yeah, we should be flying straight over Stuttgart Airport. shouldn't be there I couldn't select it so it shouldn't be there just like Eindhoven Airport wasn't there and I was so hoping with the last patch that they would implement some of those really important airports that weren't there and unfortunately understand why but still it was a bit of a shame but there's something there in the distance that blinking light the blinking light 
right there. That should be Stuttgart Airport. Yes. Unfortunately, the weather is clearing up a little. So that's nice. Yep. Buildings are there. Generic no landing strip. Nothing. And no ATC, of course, because there's no airport there. So, yeah. Everything is there, all the buildings, although I have no clue what that is. <laughs> That's not right, guys. That's not right. That's not right. Well, then now we're past Frankfurt. We are heading into the state of Bavaria. Slowly heading up to the lower Alps. But we won't be hitting the Alps just yet. Yep, we'll be doing that after um, after Italy. Yeah. Then we'll head up into Switzerland, onto Austria, and then out of Austria straight into uh, Croatia. Yeah. But this is our first. Uh, part kissing the Alps. Thank you. Because my lovely wife just got me a nice, nice refreshing beverage. It was the Ernst and Young building. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it actually looks like that. Huh! Who knew? That's actually a pretty cool design, actually. For a building. That looks great! Generic 072 descent and maintain Interesting! That's interesting. No, 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 I did not, I did not, uh, and I, I did I think we're about 20 minutes away, max? 20 to 25 minutes, yeah, half an hour. You can see the Alps in the distance there starting, that's the lower Alps, actually. I believe, and uh, it should be nestled into a, 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 a small corner, it's really weird. Next to a lake? I'm not sure if you ever if, if if you ever seen Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, but it's featured also in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, the castle of um, Baron Baron Baumhurst, Baumhurst, or something like that. He uh, he owns that castle, and that castle is actually Neuschwanstein. They used it on location. It's really great. I think 6,000 people a day visit it during the summer. You haven't... Oh, you have to see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That's a, It's such a nice movie. If you like those old Disney movies... 
um, like uh, Mary Poppins and stuff like that, you'll love Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And also got Dick Van Dyke, by the way. Baron, yeah, bombers, yeah. Thank you, Cadillo, thank you. Bombers. And it's just, it's such a good, good family friendly movie. It is. Now I want to watch that movie. Kadilu, <laughs> you know what we're watching tonight. <laughs> exactly. We are like there. We're, we're there. Oh, look at this, look at this, it's becoming sunny again. Look at the countryside, guys. Oh, that's... That is why I'm flying this game. That... This! This! I mean, I'm almost feeling like I'm on a holiday. I'm on a holiday traveling to my destination. I've got my backpacks. Uh, ba uh, bags packed in the back. Two guinea pigs. Yeah, we got guinea pigs. We love guinea pigs. In flight entertainment. <laughs> it isn't. Well, I'm, I mean, yeah, Netherlands is flat and, and, and can be boring, but I think it's still kind of pretty in its own way, especially in, in springtime and in autumn. It's, it's, yeah. I think Netherlands has its charm lovely lakes and, and canals and stuff like that and lots of water and... yeah I think, I think I'm yeah personally I don't think the Netherlands is that boring but <laughs> really really Flo ugly baby really really you had to go there didn't you you had to go there <laughs> but this this Come on, guys. This looks so pretty. So pretty. Uh, Metzingen right down there. You know, it's like you're on holiday. I can already spell, smell the, 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 the canned butter and... Uh, the liver pate. Soggy sandwiches. A football field. <laughs> And his attention is peaked. Okay, there we go. Especially for you, Flo. There it is. A football field. Right there. We just flew over it. <laughs> Actually, yesterday we hit one of your favorite uh, teams' stadiums. Feyenoord. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. It's HX, I know. I may just have lost a follower. <laughs> There you go. Okay, bye. You see? <laughs> I'm sorry. Adalia, please say I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am. I am. No. No, no. I'm with you, Flo. I'm with you. I'm with you, Flo. Sorry, so sorry. Flo, another football field right there. Look, look, right there. Look. <laughs> oh, good. I may just have caused a boo boo. I, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Let's see how far off we are. Oh yeah, we are slowly heading onto our next leg. Yep. Great. That down there actually looks like some sort of dam. That's weird. You guys see that? Huh. That's, that's a lake, definitely. 
That's definitely a lake. No, oh, it's... Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, Flo. <laughs> the goddamn. <laughs> oh, God. You are never going to let this go, aren't you? <laughs> what have I done? Please forgive me. I may. Yeah, I think it might not be a bad idea if I get some altitude again. Ah, oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. That's something straight out of a picture book. But I indeed do need to get a bit of height. Yep, 500. There we go. We are low. So we need to go up the up up before we go down the down down. I have no idea, Melvius. I have no idea where the peanuts are. You do. You, you have to ask the stewardess. And now I don't want to be pelted again by peanuts like like yesterday. No, 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 no. Once was more than enough. Once was more than enough. Yes, five hundred. I knew. I knew. Hit him in the head this time. You're daring her, aren't you? You are daring her. You know, I could do the same thing to you, Malvius. I could do the same thing to you. I have the number of your wife. And she will go a lot further than that. You know she will. don't. I have to clean that shit up. Ish. Easy one nine or four four, you are twenty thousand feet above your assigned altitude. <laughs> She'll kill him for a chuckle bar, yes she will. Yes she would. Yes she would. And she would film it. Several times, actually, she tried. Ah, oh, look at that, guys. So pretty. Yes, this is definitely Bavaria. Look at that. And this is straight out of the box. I, I'm just gobsmacked every time. Gobsmacked is the word. But seeing as we're now at 3300 and I have my autopilot set on... 25, we may be having a slight problem. So 35 is a lot better. I am turning you down. I am watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> well, we could try it this weekend. A shared stream. Two pilots crashing into a gate. That will be fun.
f you find another co-pilot. Well, you're welcome. You are quite welcome. The confidence you show in me. And who will you be having as a co-pilot? Robin? That should be fun. Dumb and dumber fly. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Dehydrate. Dehydrate. <laughs> Pay great money, yeah. What, to see me and him crash into a gate? Or to see him and Robin crash into a gate? Both are funny. Both are funny. <laughs> yeah. Now all we have to do is get a, uh, is make sure he gets a PC. PC Master Race. <laughs> what could? But don't say that. All right, I'm now acknowledging the handoff for Zurich approach. Tuning into Zurich, and now we are contacting Zurich. All right, so <laughs> to risk a ban, yes. Actually, we had a bet that you would be banned within a few days, but. Sir, I salute you. You're really serious with it. And, and for those that uh, uh, like to see uh, see uh, someone fly with that sim on stream, look up Malpheus' stream. Look it, look it up. It's it's nice. It's really cool. We hang there. I, we hang out there sometimes. And yeah, watch Malpheus' stream as well. St stream as well. It's it's fun. Oh, there you go, Melvius. <laughs> and a ban, because you are promoting someone else's stream. So, <laughs> you're an adult now. Um, I don't know how to, how to respond to that. I have no clue. Yep. Oh yes, and then some. <laughs> This is actually sponsoring, so yes, this is going to cost you money, and a lot of it. And favors, lots and lots of favors. <laughs> we are all cooking tomorrow. We have, we're having Mexican, some assembly required. thousand feet looks to be just right so <laughs> the bill for the overlays oh you just made a big boo boo my friend but yes it is Malvius who made these overlays and I thank him for it because they look great They really do look great. I have to admit that. guys it is so pretty <clears throat> and we are on our way to Castle Neuschwanstein for now we're just past Stuttgart we are on our way to Castle Neuschwanstein and from there we are going to Munich and there we will be landing today we are already one hour and 21 minutes in flight so I'm guessing another 
30 to 45 minutes of flight left. I think. Then we will be touching down. <laughs> former co-pilot, former co-pilot, huh? Interesting, former co-pilot. I haven't even been your co-pilot yet and I'm already your former co-pilot. Just for tonight. I want to see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I want to see Castle Noir Schwanstein in all its glory again. As we are just about to pass it. We are now at 60%. 58% fuel, so that's good. Oh, engine is running a bit high, so we could take that back from 55 to 45 RPM percentage, so that's 1900. Yeah, that's good. Now flying over Bavaria and Germany, heading up to Munderkingen. You can see that right there. Just notice that you cannot see the direction. The overlay is there. Let's see if I can change that. That's a bit better. There we go. Yep. <laughs> it's impossible in that airplane. Yeah. Here, hand me my... <laughs> I'll <laughs> hold my beer. Just increase the power a little bit more. 50%. So that's about nearly 2000 RPM. And flying straight into lovely weather. Lots of airspeed. And Munderkingen is right down there. Hello, people of Munderkingen. Hello. Thank you for letting me visit your lovely town. It's cancelled. Finally, it's it's cancelled. <laughs> you got your wish, Andalia. You got your wish. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Beautiful clear skies. There's nothing but blue skies. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. 
look at it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. It is pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> but that will mean that seeing Neuschwanstein will probably be with beautiful weather, and that's good. Because the castle is ex it, it's white, it's all white. So that will look really pretty. Oh, I hope they do, did the model right. I hope they did it. Look at that, the shadows of the clouds rolling over the landscape. It's... That's, that's perfect. That's... How did they do that? How? Amazing. One word, three syllables. Amazing. That is so impressive. That is so impressive. Incredible. Wow. I can only say incredible. Yeah. Definitely got the feeling I am on a holiday flying over the countryside. On to my destination. And my true destination is Lelystad. Because that's where I'll be landing. Once everything's done, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the final destination, yes. <laughs> the metropolis we call Lelystad. The final destination. The place where everyone wants to go. And get away from as quickly as possible. <laughs> well, maybe I'll be landing on, on Amsterdam. That has a bit more flair, hasn't it? Amsterdam? Yeah. Where did you land? I, I landed on Amsterdam. The VR report, yes, Nicks are high, yeah, uh, me too. It's, uh, uh, I'm not, it's, I think it's announced for not this patch, but the next one, I believe. So it's November, I think. So that would be really interesting, yeah. Although I wonder how you have to do it with the controls. I'm not sure. I mean, you do have a lot of buttons to push. The steering wheel's not that hard, of course it's there, you know, it's, you cannot miss it, but with VR support, this, and, and I'm not sure if it can keep up with the frame rates, because it's, it's a pretty heavy game, let's face it, it, it really is a pretty heavy game, yeah. But, hey, I'm looking forward to that one. And today, actually, me and my brother-in-law, who is also flying this game, he's Malvius Gaming, so look him up, he's cool. Uh, we also find, found a sort of shared cockpit plug-in, so we'll be doing that in the future. I'm not sure he is glad with that, because really, he's really into Vetsim, and I have my moments of seriousness, but those are moments. <laughs> Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. If you see this in VR, that would, have, that would be so beautiful. I mean, looking from the cockpit, right there. And then having your look around. I mean, whenever you want to, there it is. Yeah, it is. It is really smooth, but yeah, well, 
that's the thing. It's 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 a simulator, so you don't really need that much uh, FPS actually. And I think I'm running, uh, I'm running mostly at ultra or high. Uh, most things are on ultra, and uh, my game itself is not running on 1080, but it's running on 1440, not 4K because I don't have a 4K monitor, but 1440, and it's still really really smooth at about 30 frames per second. So yeah. It amazes me too, to be honest. Yeah. And of course, it is a uh, quite a slow air aircraft. Hey, that's me. All right, let's talk back. Acknowledge the handoff. And then we contact Munich S approach. And we'll probably Sierra be staying Nova with Gulf, Munich Approach. So. Feet. Cessna Papa Hotel, Sierra November Golf Approach, continue as planned. Thank Altimeter you. Altimeter tree zero decimal zero seven. So yeah, it's it, but it is pretty smooth. And if you go outside, I can. There's not much stuttering. I can basically move around quite a bit. So, yeah. The only time when I really notice the stuttering is when I turn... Uh, when I change uh, the daytime or change weather and stuff like that. Then it has to load, and but I think that's a texture thing. So, And it's not that strange that, that it doesn't... Uh, that that has a large effect on uh, on the loading, but it's buttery smooth, and it's not really that optimized yet. Let's face it; we just had our first patch of 333 megabytes. But yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. And for those who just joined us, we are still flying from Stuttgart to. Neuschwanstein, and from Neuschwanstein to Munich, and then we'll be landing. That will be our flight for today, and we'll pick it up tomorrow again from Munich on to Berlin. Not sure if I'm going to make Berlin tomorrow, but we'll, we'll be heading for Berlin anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Ooh, what's where we're approaching? Ox Ochsenhausen. Oxenhausen. Okay. Yep. I do have my uh, my autopilot settings set, just in case I need to uh, need to slip off the wheel for a minute. But. Mostly, I will be flying manually. Now the weather has cleared up. We were uh, flying nearly into the clouds uh, from uh, from Frankfurt uh, to, uh, to Stuttgart. But the weather has cleared up beautifully. And I'm flying with uh, live weather. And for now I'm flying at live real-time time. So yeah. And the only thing I heard that Real-time weather isn't working is in America, apparently. It's not working. It's got some kind of delay. But in Europe, apparently, it's pretty accurate. Hitting those lovely little towns in Bavaria seeing the water flowing 
through the rivers and stuff like that. It's as I said, it's amazing that they they got this straight out of the box. It's it's blown away so many flight simulators, and the only thing um, that bothers a lot of people is the fact that uh, some of the air, most of the airplanes aren't working that great. Oh, actually, the autopilot isn't really that. I can show you if you like. I mean, it's not that hard actually. In a in a Cessna, it's not that hard. A G1000 uh, Garmin, it's not that bad actually. What you do is uh, before you start out, you uh, make your flight plan and you load it in. Then you already have that in your navigation when you start. So if you go down this screen right here, this is your navigation map, and you have your navigation points. Well. It's I've missed a few, but I can adjust the zoom right there. You can zoom in and out. And you can pan if you want. If you press this toggle, you can you can pan left and right. There you go. You see the little cursor going left and right. So there. Now if we zoom out, you see that my flight plan has already been loaded in and there's Castle Neuschwanstein. You know what? Uh no. I'll, I'll, I'll continue because I think we're still going... Yeah, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Okay. Then, if you have your flight plan ready, you just set in your altitude. And your altitude, you can see here. I set it to 4000, and you can change that if you like to 5, or you can do it in increments of 100 if you use the, the little part of the knob more, more to the front. So I'll keep it at 4,000 for now. So you have your altitude right there. And you already have your uh, navigation points right there. So now actually all you have to do is engage the autopilot. But it doesn't still do anything. Then you have to turn on your FLC and your nav. And off you go. And that's it. That's it. And now it's flying all on its own. And it's that easy. So, once again, you change your altitude to the desired altitude that you want. You push, push FLC mode on, or AB, FLC, and nav. And that's it. Yeah, it does. That's basically it. It won't land for you. You have to do that yourself. But that's it. It's now trying to figure. And sometimes be careful with, with autopilot. Because autopilot in this game apparently can be pretty iffy at times. Usually it works. And sometimes it doesn't. And it's got a mind of its own. And it will just barrel you straight down into the ground. Which is interesting to say the least. Yeah. Yeah. Buttock squeezing moments as I call them. But yeah. That's about it. And it's not that hard. And if you want to turn it off again, it's quite easy. All you have to do is go back. If you don't have... Uh, by the way, um, uh, let's go here. Oh, sorry, sorry, yes, sorry. Too much switching, I know. If you have an, uh, a flight yoke from, uh, from Logitech, there's a big red button on it. And all I have to do, if you look here, you can see ap that's the autopilot altitude 4000 well that's there and gps it's using the gps coordinates now if i push the red button ding, everything goes up you hear the bing noise and i've got control again and that's it that's all you need to do that's all you need to do and that's a great way to start out with a Cessna or something like that, Cessna with a, every G1000 works basically like that, and um, once you get the hang of that, well, you can easily step up to bigger aircraft like the Citation, which is way more advanced and way more finicky to fly, or the Airbus, Airbus which my my brother-in-law Melvius Gaming is flying. Apparently, if he can fly it, I'm guessing anyone can. Hey, Melvius, you're welcome. <laughs> But yeah, that's it. Hydrate, guys. Hydrate. Board. 
So it's really, it really is that easy. Yeah. Oh, the caravan is a lovely plane to fly. It was much easier, actually, I think, than the Cessna 172. I've flown the caravan. It's it's much smoother, and it works basically the same way. So yeah, there's no difference there. I think it's also working with the Garmin 1000. So, and all you have to do is make uh, make sure you have your flight plans ready, and uh, yeah, then you're good to go. Then you're good to go. You can do it manually, the fly pen. And don't ask me how. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, and, or look it up on YouTube. There are great... Um, there are a lot of great uh, tutorial videos about the Garmin 1000. And there are a few easy ones as well. And that's how I learned it, basically. But once you get the hang of that, then you know where every button is. Yeah. But the caravan is a great one to fly. Yeah, it's really cool. If you're into flying stuff like that, um, look into FS Economy or um, On Air. On Air is paid and FS Economy is free. But I'm don't, not sure if you're familiar with that. But you can set up your own airline, uh, 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 your own uh, airline company, and you can fly uh, different uh, different orders around the world where you are. It's really cool. Not only is it cool because you it gives your games a bit game a bit of a purpose, but yeah. Let's see where we are. think we are yes we are slowly coming up yeah um, we uh, uh, both my brother-in-law both Melvius, Melvius gaming and I looked into uh, into FS economy but there were a lot of applications there so they got really really backed up and he found on air it which looks a little bit better or, or a lot better actually it's it's um, and, but and you also have skill points in them which you have to learn and stuff like that on air, yeah there you go Melvius on air is indeed really really cool and it's only like four four or five euros a month I think Correct me if I'm wrong, Melvius. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure, but I think it's or it's two, like two or three euros, or two or three dollars. I'm not sure. So yeah. Oh, thank you, uh, Pentacon. Yeah, thank you. Nine nine euros a month. Oh, even but even then for nine euros a month. I mean, come on. It's like, but it's more. It's less than what most people pay for 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 uh, MMOs these days. There were like 12 or 30 euros a month. So, yeah. And it's really cool because you can, as you are flying, you also gain experience. So you have these skill points which you can implement. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Flo. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, two, two and a half years. Yeah, okay, but yeah. For most people, I think this game is a long-term investment. I think it really is. I mean, the the flight I have planned is like 1,800 hours, so it comes down to at least a year of flying. So, yeah. And let's face it, guys, this game just came out, and it can only get better, and it looks great already, so yeah. Oh, and for those that um, uh, want to uh, want to try it out, it is available on Microsoft Game Pass, which has become even better. Thank you for following. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Pentagon. Thank you. 
so yeah, it's it's oh for a year. That's not bad. Three euros for a year. Well, that's like thirty thirty six euros. So that's not that's not too bad actually. Although it could be a plane in the market. <laughs> oh, I just started out. I've, I'm, this is like uh, the second flight I'm doing. So yeah, your guys are at the at, at the start. So yeah, there's 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 a long way to go. There is a long way to go. Yep. And I'm looking forward to every one of those 1,800 hours. I'm oh, I'm so stoked. Yeah. Can't wait to fly around. Uh, 172, yeah, and 172 all the way, all the way, 172. Yep. Yep, and that will mean I will fly basically every country, and uh, also hitting certain uh, landmarks, uh, even if they are not on the map or in game. I will be trying to find them. For instance, I think in Bulgaria I'm flying over Draculia's castle. <laughs> so yeah. Count to Dracula's castle. St stuff like that. And and just and if anyone has a suggestion, I'll see if I can see if I can and fit it in. Why not? Why not? I'm going there anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, I, I've asked many a people, uh, why am I doing this again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have no idea why, but the thought that you could fly around the world in a small plane like that, well, like that, it's, it's mind blowing. <laughs> and thank you. I will be. Uh, I will be. Uh, I will be sure to uh, to uh, to make this flight work. But I'm. Re I'm really looking forward to it. The fact that you can fly around. It... Really, Flo. <laughs> I mean, I like the awesome part. But why the crazy? Why do you have to go there? Why there? You know? Why there? You're right. Of course you're right, but still. <laughs> yeah, I know it's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There's there's no denying, unfortunately. <laughs> the crazy part's true. Thanks, dear. Highly enjoyable. 18 hours in a tin can, yeah. Well, for now it's 18 hours. It may become more because I've just uh, did the entire planning of the flight um, uh, in the big picture lines, you know, and, and I know where I'm going basically, but I haven't filled in the blanks, the, 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 the sights and the stuff I want to see. So it's only going up, so I might be ending up 2000 plus hours. Having to do this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm doing this, but... I'm looking forward to it. Oh, by the way, guys, if you uh, look into the distance, uh, you can see the, um, uh, the the start of the Alps right there. Which means... Castle Neuschwanstein is that away! And for those who know me, pronouncing Neuschwanz, Stein, has its difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> I think to see the damn castle. <laughs> Come on, you damn castle, then, <laughs> then I'm off. See ya. <laughs> well, we are approaching it. We are really approaching it now. <laughs> 
Yep. To the right there, that's Kempren, if I'm not mistaken. So Fusen up ahead. And I truly do hope it looks really pretty. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm oh, I'm I'm hoping it it looks it looks great. Oh, that's a, such a shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, keep an eye out for um, community-made mods. There are quickly coming out a lot of replacement mods. Um, for uh, for landmarks, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. There are a few websites with uh, with with great community mods already. There were a few. Uh, I started it yesterday, and I flew over um, over Rotterdam, and I added uh, a few bridges and uh, the Kuip Stadium and stuff like that, and it looked really good. It looked really good. So fingers crossed. And that's what I'll be doing in my flights, by the way. Um, when I uh, have my flight plan in the morning, I will check out and see if there are any mods available uh, that will alter uh, the, the, the way buildings look in, uh, during my flight that day. And I will add them. So making sure, making sure that, that everything is as accurate as it can be. But yeah, I've seen like uh, there, there are really strange things. Like in Barcelona, I think there is a there is a, 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 a giant pillar or something like that. It's a really strange thing, and I think that the rivers in Canada are, and rivers and lakes in Canada don't add up correctly. They they they, they don't match up. So they they you have like glacier type rivers or something like. It's really weird. But I think uh, the next, um, this coming month, yeah, this month, um, Asobo will release a patch which is uh, based on some glitches and uh, bugs and also uh, a few uh, alterations in world maps. And next month, uh, the update will contain only world map issues i think so they are working on it and and they also already stated that they will support this game for at least 10 years so well game simulation you know what i mean so. it runs on a pc it's a game <laughs> but yeah 10 years i mean that's that's pretty cool knowing that we have only been playing this for just under a month Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty. That is so pretty. I mean, I feel like I'm a hol on holiday. Flying over lovely countryside. Nice towns. That is so pretty. I mean, and, and no, no human hands made this. No human hands made this. It is, it is addicting. It really is. I mean, you want to see more. And most people start out by, by flying uh, over their house four times, of course. Yeah, I flew over my house. Of course, I did it too. I flew over my house. Yes, there it was. Incredible. And then you start, well, where, can, where else can I go? Everywhere. Just name it. Go there. Just go there. <laughs> it's pretty much the only thing I've done in my spare time. Yeah, exactly, Pentagon. Exactly. Well, that's the reason why I uh, only uh, stream on um, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. <laughs> and yeah, Melvius get exactly the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I only stream on. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Because if 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 I let myself go, I I won't be doing anything else. 
let's face it, I won't be doing anything else. You just want to see more, more of the world. Is, 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 is this there? What does Los Angeles look like? And what does San Francisco look like? And ooh, uh, New York, of course, we fly over New York. Yes, that's cool. And, but then there's so much more and it's all correctly. It's all correct. It's there. It, it, each and every time I look at this, I'm like, what black magic is this? Acknowledge the handoff. Damn. Back to Munich! That's the only thing that doesn't make sense to me yet. Munich Center, so, Hotel, I went from 3, Munich Center to Munich Center. Like they didn't know I was here already? Hello! Ooh. Have to uh, adjust the altimeter. There we go. No, it's it's really, really addictive. Where do we go today? Where do we go tomorrow? And that's why I also planned this flight, to have a goal. It's not only just a, a daft idea that I had. It's like, all right, if I want to see it, I want to see it all. I want to see it all. How rude. <laughs> there they go again. Edelweiss, that's awesome! No idea who that is, but which company that is, but Edelweiss 330. Sir, I salute you. <laughs> well, Indalia, I think it's right over there in the distance. I think we are getting close now. We are definitely getting close to the beautiful casa. Look at that, guys. The Alps in the distance there. I'm blind where? No, that's not... You can't see it directly, but it's in the distance. If you see the, um, the Alps there in the distance, it, it's nestled into the base of the Alps. So I think past those green hills, then we're getting close. So, I think it's somewhere over there. So we're we're near it. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're definitely getting close. But it's these lovely outside views. I mean, come on, come on, guys. Look at that. If that isn't pretty, I don't know what is. This is a, a level of beauty that most games do not even achieve, and it's worldwide. The entire world is like this. How did they do this? How? I mean, the guys that explained and prepared and, and, and they must have been scratching behind their ears when they heard this was coming. They must have been like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> yes, exactly, Pentagon. I, I, yeah, that would surprise me as well. I mean, so I, th I think uh, at its peak, it had a million downloads a week ago, so in two weeks' time? So, oh, there is quite actually an easy way to do that, uh, Nixter. Yeah. The uh, flight plan is, is actually quite easy to, uh, to, uh, to share. Uh, if you make a flight plan, and, uh, you save it, because you can, you can make the flight plan already, and you can save it, and then you can, uh, if you go to your, uh, your uh, install folder, 
you uh, you can copy it from there. I've already made a few flight plans and shared it with Melvius. And we flew those together in multiplay. So yeah, it, it, it is actually... You can actually actually do that. Yeah. <laughs> Pajama pilot for the win. <laughs> Somehow that's not an option for me. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you don't want to see me in my pajamas. Yeah, pretty sure. I do I do have the body of a young god. Buddha. Yeah. Buddha. So, so there's that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Is this what I think it is? Oh yeah, there are several actually, but um, uh, Simbrief, I think. You can actually load Simbrief, Simbrief straight into um, uh, into uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, but as long as it has a extension of .pln or .flt, you can load it straight into Flight Simulator. The thing is, however, that sometimes it doesn't take on all the uh, the waypoints and all the, the the landings you want. So yeah, that's one. Uh, the one I use myself is Sky Vector. It's a website and it states very clearly that you cannot uh, mess around with it. But uh, and it's actually used by actual pilots. Um, but uh, the flight plan, uh, you cannot export it basically to uh, to Microsoft Flight Simulator yet. I'm hoping there will be a Garmin plugin because that will take, it, it can export Garmin. So that would be awesome if it, it, if it could import Garmin, uh, Garmin flight plans. And guys, here we are, Neuschwanstein in the distance. That's it. That must be it. Yep. And Dahlia, that one's for you. And feet there it is. Let's head in closer, shall we? Incredible. Look at those mountains, guys. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, There it is. It's right there. Castle Neuschwanstein. There you go. 61 million people already visited. It's like they they get like 6,000 visitors a day. It's wow. Featured in movies like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and, and The Great Escape. Look at these towns, look at that. There's, I, th I believe there's actually a castle down here somewhere, but I'm not sure if that's represented as well. There it is. Let's head in. Let's head in. Yeah, exactly. The Disney castle was exactly based on it. Yeah, you are quite right. The Cinderella, the Cinderella castle.
Many people think that that that's just an, a romantic, uh, romanticized version of, of, of all castles, but it's actually based on this castle. And it's so pretty. And funnily enough, it's still not a World Heritage Site. It's still not. It's still not on UNESCO. I don't get it. Because it should be. There it is, guys. Castle Neuschwanstein. Let's head in a bit lower. Wow, look at that! Look at that, guys! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, that's great! That is awesome! There it is, in all its glory. Castle Neuschwanstein. Yep. <laughs> Requesting a flyby. <laughs> yes, it is actually pretty cool. Yeah, it yeah, that's that's not an office block, is it? That's actually a castle. That is a castle. Oh yeah! Wow! 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 All I can say is wow. That's so pretty. That looks a whole lot better than I expected, especially after hearing about all those glitches and stuff like that but no 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 pretty 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 bye bye look at this this is amazeballs this is so pretty and the way the light bounces off the lakes and the reflection of the clouds. How did they do this? How? This is beyond impressive. This is beyond impressive. This, yeah. Incredible. coastline of those lakes and ah. goosebumps guys goosebumps incredible all those tiny little roads and and I think only the um, the landmarks and uh, some of the airports are handmade. The rest isn't. The water looks incredible. Yeah, the waves and the way the way uh, the way the, the waves react. Also, it's. Incredible, incredible. Yeah. It is amazing, but also the way the light bounces off the plane itself. I mean, look at that! Even the plane itself looks great. You have the Alps there in the distance. It, it's, it all works. It's there. It works. I've driven through the Alps. That's what they look like. That's exactly what it looks like. As I said, I'm feeling again. I'm, I have the feeling that I'm ho on holiday again. Get out the snacks. <laughs> Bring out the snacks. Amazing, this game.
And there is so much more to see. We're going to see every bit of the world. Every bit of it. Well, not every bit, of course. A lot. Well, a large, a large part. Well, a, a, a considerable, a considerable amount. Yeah. Well, some of it. Yeah. <laughs> no, a large part of it. Oh yeah. And we're gonna see it in all its glory from the air. Well, guys, that, yeah, Castle Neuschwanstein, there it was. <laughs> Tiny shadow on the ground, yeah, I saw it too, yeah, right here, right below us. <laughs> yeah, you noticed it. A teeny tiny shadow. <laughs> Peter Pan, eat your heart out, that's us. Now on to the capital of uh, of Bavaria, Munich. Descend and maintain 8,700 feet generic 409er. Generic 409er, climb and maintain 10,000 feet. The largest, the largest city in Bavaria. 1.5 million people. Feet generic and the home to. Amongst other things, BMW. So yeah, two hours in, in our flight, two hours and 30 minutes, so it's taking a bit longer than expected. I expected it to be around two hours, but it's a bit longer than that. I'm still thinking about 30 minutes left before touchdown, so hoping to touchdown at around five o'clock Central European time. On Munich Airport. If I am not mistaken, I will be landing on runway. I have to look it up on the charge. 26 right or 26 left. No, 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 no. Not 26, no. 08 left, I think. 08 left. Also, for those that are really wanting to play this game a lot more seriously, try out VATSIM. There are a few great tutorials about that. That makes it a lot more realistic. You don't have the, uh, the in-game ATC, but you have actual ATC. Actual people. Hey, thank you, Grumpy Kittens. Thank you for following me. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, you, uh, you can also... Uh, um, uh, get a lot better uh, at landing if you look up the charts of the um, of the airport where you're going oh hey thank you Don Don Pan 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 thank you for rating us thank you hello everyone hello <laughs> thank you bring them in those hordes those darn hordes <laughs> hi sim please thank you for following thank you hello Ooh, thank you, Chatterbob. Thank you for following me. Don't let those hordes win, guys. Don't let those hordes win. <laughs> Jelly Fisher, thank you for following me. Thanks. Thanks, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Dodopon. Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. Lovely to see you guys here. Unfortunately, you guys just missed New Schwanstein, Neuschwanstein Castle. It was gorgeous. Oh, it was so beautiful. Thank you, Mouse Wet Bear. Thank you. Thank you for following me, guys. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Yes. Yes, it's always nice to be rated when you least expect it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining this community. We all love you for it. Welcome into our embrace. Welcome and join. Enjoy the beautiful views. And beautiful they are. We just left the Alps. 
Unfortunately, you, unfortunately, you guys missed Neuschwanstein Castle right there. You missed it by just uh, just 15 minutes. Oh, it was beautiful. It was such a sight to see. And now we are heading up to Munich. Oh, I'm, I'm, I just started out. Uh, this is my second flight, actually. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I really am going to fly 1,800 plus hours. I'm going to hit every country in the world. Which I can in a Cessna 20, 127. So yeah, yeah. I started out yesterday in uh, in Lelystad, flew over Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Eindhoven to Maastricht, and then on to uh, to Frankfurt. So yeah, yeah. 1800 hours in a, in a Cessna, and it's like um, 440,000 kilometers. <laughs> yeah. You haven't missed much. No, you haven't. No, no, we just started out. There's so much more to see. So much more to see. We will also be doing a few long flights. Be bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I will need you to stay awake because I will be flying without autopilot. I will be setting the autopilot, but I will be. I have uh, planned most of it. Thank you. Thank you for uh, wishing me good luck. Yeah. It, it is kind of slow. It's 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 low and slow. So you get to see every part of the world in its glory. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, that's what that's what makes turboprop so lovely. So lovely to fly. Yeah. I will be flying um, uh, mostly during daytime, by the way. I will always be using live weather. And uh, should I crash? Heaven forbid, heaven forbid. Should I crash? I will be having a save point and I will be able to fly back from that save point. Every continent will have one save point and I will be flying back from that save point and then flying on again and trying to make the flight. So yeah. And I always be will be using live weather, but I will I might be able to switch between uh, or I might be able I will be able to switch between uh, between daytime if it looks really cool. I mean, let's face it, who doesn't want to see Los Angeles at nighttime or, or New York or, or Paris? Of course, the City of Lights. Yeah. So yeah, that will... Uh, it, it will be a, a, an interesting journey, to say the least. An interesting journey. But I am really looking forward to it. Oh yeah, really long mouse, really long. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Definitely. As I said, 1800 plus hours. So uh, yeah. I indeed have a mission flow. I indeed has I have a mission. Well, you know the thing is, the the fact that when this game game well simulator came out. I was like, okay, so you can see everything in the world. Why not see everything in the world? But can you do it in a Cessna? Can you reach certain islands, for instance? And I was really interested if you could, for instance, reach the Seychelles or, or, or um, the Azores or stuff like that. And then I found out you could. It's a one-way flight and a one-way flight back, but you could. I mean, it's six hours over sea, but yeah. <laughs> thank you, Jelly. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, it, I mean, that was my main interest. That was my main interest uh, to, to see if you... Uh, uh, no, I haven't posted it. Not, uh, unfortunately, I haven't posted it yet, but I will be doing so uh, on, uh, on certain media. And I will see if I can post it on my 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 my, uh, my YouTube channel or uh, post it on uh, on different medias but I'll make sure you can guy you guys can look up my flight hell I'll even make it available for you so you can fly parts of it yourself if you want so yeah I mean you can share flight plans amongst amongst each other so why not share the joy why not share the joy And it is a joyous game to look at. I mean, look at this! This is so pretty! It is! Anyone who says otherwise is lying. This game is pretty. <laughs> well, simulator. <laughs> Ooh. 
I think we're having a bit of turbulence. Please put your seats in an upright position. Fasten your seat belts. Do not use the toilet. I wonder how you use the toilet in Cessna, actually. Uh, let's not go there, shall we? <laughs> let's not go there. Yeah! Exactly that! Exactly that! <laughs> no, don't quit. No, exactly that, Mouse. Exactly that. I, I mean, you walk away with a grin on your face thinking, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> I've flown over that. I know what it's like to fly over that. <laughs> Open the window, yeah. <laughs> Pee in a bottle and bombs away! <laughs> All you can do is hope you wish to see the faces when it lands. <laughs> Blue eyes falling, fr falling from the sky. Maybe not such a good idea. Yeah, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> exactly that. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we're requesting flight following again. Sierra November Golf is type Cessna Skyhawk, two miles south of Echo Delta Papa November. Request flight following. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> we call it a yellow douche. Sierra November Golf. Golden showers. Oh no 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 no! Family friendly, guys. Family friendly. Family friendly. <laughs> Family friendly. But a dirty mind is a joy forever. That is true. All right. Well, we be we should be getting close to Munich, guys. So let's head back into the cockpit. <laughs> be jokes and family, but yeah. <laughs> you may be right there. All right, yes, we are slowly getting closer. As you can see right here, we are getting closer. So. Let's see. 38 nautical miles to our last waypoint, and that is directly onto... <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's not a sneak peek. If you want to see it, I'll post it. No problem. No problem. All right. Bye bye, Don Don. Thank you for the raid. Thank you. Thank you. And have a nice sleep, Matt. Have a nice sleep, dude. Sweet dreams. Oh, your link is the sneak peek. Oh, interesting. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's... Uh... Yeah, that every time I see that, that makes me wonder why I'm doing this again. Yeah. <laughs> why am I doing this again? Because it's fun. That's why. Yes, it's fun. <laughs> Link is scary. <laughs> and I'm going to fly it. I really am. I really am going to fly that. Yeah. Every bit around the world. Fly me to the moon. Oh yes. As I said, I will be doing this and basically I can't look forward to it. <laughs> Have I lost my mind yet? <laughs> well, I did that a long time ago. Mouse, sorry. Yeah. But the meds are working great. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Unfortunately, Flo is quite right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Decades ago. How old do you think I am? Really? Really? Honestly? Honestly? Pish posh. 
Uh, I think, um, Jelly, uh, a mine is actually a peanut that bounces around in your head. And once it hits somewhere randomly, that's when a thought in gets inspired. Mm. Or that's how the doctors explained it to me. <laughs> Not just a head wreck, my friend. Not just a head wreck. Refund on your peanuts, all. Oh. The savage cop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that no, that's a bit too much. Yep, not flying that. I flew that actually once, but it was. How shall I say this? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, that. Noise, that, that clinking clunking noise yeah that's that's that but once you hear the clunk that's when the light bulb comes up Ping. Uh -huh. so there mm -hmm. not just a hat rack <laughs> What, you inflated the peanut? <laughs> and if you know how to do that, please tell me. I'm really interested. <laughs> yeah! The the, 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 the the cup is really, really interesting to fly. Yeah. Uh, in a Cessna, well, it, uh, let's face it, uh, Mouse, I didn't do it in a straight line. I did it uh, across... Uh, I, I went from um, Frankfurt to Stuttgart, Stuttgart to... Uh, Neuschwanstein and Neuschwanstein back to Munich and I'm on to 2 hours and 29 minutes right now so it's not that bad it's not that bad actually and I've taken into consideration that during Sky Factor so the 800, 1800 plus hours is based on a Cessna actually so yeah I thought it might, it, it'd be much worse actually <laughs> it's, yeah, it's up and you're already descending again once you hit, uh, hit flight level. And we're going down. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. Please fasten. Uh, you can uh, you can now uh, put your seats in an upright position. You can walk around in the cab. Oh, no. Sit down again. Nope. Fasten your seatbelts. We're landing again. Sorry. <laughs> Two and a half, thirteen. <laughs> well, we went from eighteen hundred plus hours to twelve. <laughs> Let's see where we are, guys. How far away are we? We are twenty-nine nautical miles away. <laughs> We like it low and slow, people. We like it low and slow. <laughs> Your words, Flo, not mine. Your words, not mine. Yep. Yeah. No, you disappoint me. <laughs> ah, but that fades away easily. That fades away easily. I insulted you this morning with your favorite football club, so yeah. Let's call it even, shall we? <laughs> this disappointment is my middle name. Well, surely. <laughs> 
No, you're not that bad. Well, maybe you are, but we like you anyway. We love you for, for who you are. Yes, in this channel, we love you for who you are. We embrace you. <laughs> Enough of that soggy shit. Uh, ish. Well, there goes family friendly right out of the door. <laughs> Did I marry? <laughs> oh, and Dahlia, that's your choice. You made that choice. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. It's actually called Ober Pfaffenhoven. Really? Pfaffenhoven? <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> we are flying onto Ober Pfaffenhoven. Yeah, we're... <laughs> well, Munich should be in the distance, actually. <laughs> oh, long names. Ober Pfaffenhofen van Überschnucken zum Fuppenthal, jawohl. <laughs> Dutch. You have no idea how gibberish much gibberish Dutch can be unless you are Dutch. Then you know how much gibberish there is in the world. <laughs> oh, Welsh! Now there. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Oh no. That's a good one! Swedish is also- Yeah! Oh no, oh, I'm going to fail utterly- uh, Oh no, that's going to be bad. Oh! Oh! Can someone please, 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 please help me phonetically with that? Because that's going to be- Oh, that's going to be bad! I can do that! I can do that! That's not hard! I mean... That's what it's called in the Netherlands, so yeah. <laughs> but... No, sorry, wait, what? Late, late, wait for kringling, ningling, nil. Nailed it. So there. Ling, vir, pool, gwin, gil, go, ger, ilk, wien, drop, al, anders, il, go, go, gug. Nailed it. Gibberish. Gibberish. <laughs> now it's, you know, the thing with Dutch is it's not based, well, it, it is a hard language to learn, but it's the exception that makes it insane. It's like, no, it's, it's, you pronounce it like this, but when it's, when you say it to someone else, you have to pronounce it differently, and it has multiple meanings, and... Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> well, streaming, buddy, yeah! <laughs> that would be great, Andalia! That would be helpful, I think. But yeah, I have I really didn't think about pronouncing Oh, it's going to be such a problem. Oh god, I just realized. You know Asian names? Well that should be fun. <laughs> I'm going to get so much so much flack over this. Oh, Somehow I'm suddenly worried. <laughs> yeah. I need a language coach. Please, I need a language coach. Oh, the Asian part. Oh, we, we got that covered. <laughs> Extreme accent. 
Yeah, but what what is extreme and what is racist? I mean, you know, you can easily cross over that border. So, yeah. Wildly racist. <laughs> no, maybe not such a good idea. Would be funny, though. Would be funny. Oh yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Andalia, thank you. Helping me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> Just hate everyone. You're there. I don't like you. <laughs> now that's not in my personality. That's not in my personality, unfortunately. <laughs> nope. in my cult of personality. <laughs> oh my. Let's see where we are, guys. Let's see. Munich must be up ahead somewhere. 19 nautical miles. We're nearly at the end of our flight today. I think, I think that over there is Munich. Yeah. That must be Munich. The biggest city in Bavaria. 1.5 people. 1.5 million people. Sorry, 1.5 people. Well, I've got a town of one and a half people. So, basically, a mother and a child. <laughs> nope. One and a half million people. <laughs> exactly. 1.5. Well, mother and a child. There you go. Mother and a child. <laughs> or one person and you take this knife well you do the math <laughs> so, yeah <laughs> um, well they are full persons and when they hit 18 so let's say before they are 9 they're half does that make sense? <laughs> or is that not politically correct? I don't know anymore. <laughs> I just don't know anymore. <laughs> Oh god, please don't let me botch up this landing. Please don't let me botch up this landing. I'm going to botch up this landing. <laughs> Although I did think that it would be closer. <laughs> I get killed! <laughs> yeah, 1.5. Well, actually, if you look closely, there are two people in the cockpit. So, yeah, you might be right. <laughs> Three with me, yeah. <laughs> My, me, myself, and two other personalities. Hey, I'm never alone. <laughs> By the way, fun fact, if you delete one of those, um, uh, if you delete the co-pilot, for instance, in your plane, it will tilt to the, uh, to the right. I didn't know that. Thought my, uh, my yoke was out of calibration for a while. So, yeah. Until I figured out that you actually need to balance your aircraft. Yes, fact right there. Fun, fu fun fact. <laughs> I 
I was about this close to bringing my yoke back, actually. <laughs> Thought it was broken. And suddenly, ping! That peanut hit the wall, or hit the side of my head. Hmm, maybe I should not have deleted the co-pilot. Learning all the time. We must be getting close. Well, maybe we are. I think it might be over there. Yeah! It... it Actually, Jelly, it really was a surprise to me that, that it, deleting a co-pilot would have so much influence on the, uh, the aerodynamics of your plane. And it actually really does. It was so weird. And for two days, I couldn't figure out why that was happening. Why it was tilting to the right every time. More to the left, actually. Yeah, no, right, left, whatever. It was tilting. <laughs> this bottle. No, 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 no. I left her standing on the tarmac like a gentleman. Yes. And she cried all the way home. <laughs> Let's see if we can contact the airport to see yep I can contact the airport so there let's see if I can contact the tower already and request a full stop landing tower says the Papa Hotel Sierra November Gulf is one five miles southwest with echo to land Eight left. All right, guys, we have a landing strip. So eight left is indeed the one we were targeting for at the beginning of our flight. I have my chart open. And if you are doing this uh, on a regular basis, I really do recommend you download the chart, if only to see where you can land and where the the exits are on the runway that really does help yes yes uh, no it's triggered the uh, flow in this case it's triggered if you're flying that sim however they can deny it yeah you have to uh, to fly exactly to the landing uh, to the landing strip where they direct you to, or they can deny it. Yeah. But in this case, because I'm flying uh, uh, on uh, game uh, on simulated ATC, if you're flying in, you will always be able to fly in. But that sim is a lot, lot more realistic than this. It really, really is. Yeah. I mean, my, my brother-in-law, Malvius Gaming, is flying uh, flying VATSIM. And uh, last night he flew from uh, Amsterdam to Copenhagen. And when he switched over from Amsterdam and got the handoff to Copenhagen eventually, um, he thought he was landing on one rail, runway and had to land on... was redirected to another uh, runway, actually. So that was really cool to watch. But these guys are really serious. They are. I mean, if you make, if if you you, you um, just get around there, they will ban you in an instant, and you can no longer fly. And that's in that. So yeah. But it is really, really realistic. They direct you from the. Uh, from the gate over the taxiways to uh, to the to the spot where you have to take off to the landing strip where you have to take off the, the, your takeoff position 
you have to take off, you have to follow, then you're handed off uh, to the tower and, and to the center and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. And the fact that people are doing this in their free time, it's amazing. And then combined with this game, with this simulation, wow. At a certain point he was flying at night and you could see the sun going down into the ocean with just a, a, a tiny sliver of light on the horizon. And when you look down, everything was lighted up and, and all the, the beautiful lights and, and the cities you could see at night. It was... What kind of black magic is this? How did they do that? How how did Asobo create this simulation? How did they do that? It <laughs> All right, call it magic then. Magic. Let's let's keep it at magic. <laughs> what kind of voodoo? There you go. What kind of voodoo? Jelly, that's the one that's the one we'll keep. What kind of voodoo? Exactly. Exactly, Jen. That's the one. That's a that's a keeper. <laughs> Amazing. That's all I have to say about this game. It's the only thing I can say. It's I mean even this rural countries it looks look at that look at that it's all there oh there's the runway guys there is the there's the uh, there's the airport so we have to take uh, zero 08 left and uh, zero 08 left <laughs> yeah incoming <laughs> we have to uh, land on the left runway hence the zero 08 left So that's that one right there. All right. So we are now heading towards our next waypoint, our last waypoint. And I'll be switching to the cockpit from here on. There we go. Pulling it a little bit back. There we go. That's a nice view, isn't it? All right. Slowly heading into uh, descending. We are still quite a way off, but can't hurt to prepare. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> well, I've done this a few times. The thing is, if I crash, I have to get back to... <laughs> I have to do this flight all over again. I just realized. No, I won't be crashing. I hope. I have a Logitech uh, Yope uh, cheddar. I have a Logitech Yope. Yoke. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jelly. Now I have a Logitech yoke uh, combined with a Thrustmaster master, uh, rudder. Yeah. For now. But I really am considering a few other options. Like uh, there's this. Uh, they also got the Logitech uh, SciTech panel for uh, navigation, which is really cool. Yeah, Cadillo, you know. They are, they yeah, they are really good, Cheddar. Uh, they they yeah, they they feel really good, and they feel they are plastic. I mean, it's plastic, fantastic. Like fa let's face it, it's 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 all plastic. But it it so much enhances your game, and especially when taking off and landing, it's like day and night difference. I mean, uh, I uh, have uh, Hotas uh, yoke, so uh, hands on throttle and stick, uh, joystick and and throttle. Um, but flying this way is is so much easier. It's it's really precise, and 
it's it it feels great. It's yeah. Especially uh, the only thing is it's really hard to find because of flight simulator, and uh, I'm really glad that uh, my lovely wife uh, Kadilu right there, <laughs> right there, uh, she uh, she gave me this for my birthday. Uh, when the game wasn't even out yet, but she already knew that I wanted to play this game really badly. So thank you, dear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Well, funny thing about that. Um, my uh, brother-in-law, Melvius Gaming, also used uh, a steering wheel at first. And, uh, but, but this is a lot better. Yeah, it's still sold out everywhere. It's, it's amazing how fast everything went. And if you can find it second hand by now, you're really lucky. You're really lucky. Alright, flaps are down. And we are coming in for the landing, guys. There it is. Yeah. That's quite true, Jelly. That uh, that racers, uh, because of the, the, the virtual racing these guys did, those steering wheels also sold out really quickly. Yep. Yeah, it was. Bit more power. Bit more power. Well, you can put your uh, use your your pedals as rudder controls. Yeah, you can. But it's not as easy as actual rudders. The uh, control pitch. Um, well, I have it on my uh, on my on my yoke, so I'm not sure what the uh, the key is on the keyboard or in anything like that. Alright guys, keeping the landing strip straight ahead, I'm going to focus on my landing right now, putting my feet back on the rudder, and keeping the landing strip right there in sight, thank you, thank you, yes I can, yes we can. Alright. Yes, I know. Beeping. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, I'm going in way too high. But we've got a large landing strip, so I'm pushing it a bit down. And then pulling up. Nope. There we go, there we go! There we go! And we're on the ground, guys! We are on the ground! Whoop! Come on! Now we have to tune in, yes! Thank you! Thank you! Alright! Now we have to follow just. <laughs> thank you, Anna. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We're down, we're down. I'm tuning into the tower, acknowledging ground handoff. Then tuning into 
ground services? Yes. This means we'll be starting from Munich tomorrow. Yes, we are. I'm requesting a taxi ground to parking. <laughs> Small piece of me wanted you to crash. Thanks. <laughs> well, there is always that option, so stay tuned. You might get to see it. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have to tune in tomorrow for a bit more. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But we're not done yet. We're still taxiing, which can take hours. It can take hours. Acknowledge taxi clearance. Taxi general aviation parking I mean, tax away Echo Delta Charlie Alpha Bravo Cessna. Really? November Golf. <laughs> We're not there yet, guys. You see the ramp? That's where we have to go. 1.32 nautical miles. That's about two kilometers. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is actually the most boring part of the stream. Yeah. And though I I can turn it off right here, but I won't. I can't turn it off right here. And as by the way, instructions for the taxi is uh taxi parking via taxiway E D C A and B. So, Echo, Delta, Charlie. Um, there is a speed limit. Yeah, funnily enough, there is. Uh, you can't go above, I think, um, 20, knot, uh, th 20 knots. So, yeah. So, it's basically, there's a basic rule that you have to stay at about 50 to, 50 to 20 knots. Yeah. And you get they get really mad of you if you if you go too slow or too well too slow is not that bad but too fast oh yeah uh, there are uh, high speed <laughs> um I don't I'm not sure about that uh, Anna I, I'm not sure about that if that's that's true. But you might be right. Uh, you might be right. Yeah. I'll look that up, actually. That's actually quite, quite interesting. Well, we passed the one mile, uh, one nautical mile mark. That's nice. I think I'll speed it up a little bit. It is pretty cool that it's next to a highway. I mean, come on, that's cool. Okay. That is actually pretty cool. Up to 60 knots? Really? It's long. It is really long. If you're landing on... Um, oh, this should be interesting. Cars appearing and disappearing. Huh. Voodoo once again, guys. Voodoo once again. I call Voodoo. Uh, Schiphol Polderbahn is... Uh, yeah, that's that's a really, really, really long drive for, for a taxi drive. That's, that's incredibly long. It can take up to 15 to 20 minutes to taxi all the way there. It's really insane 
think I had 36C if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Look, no hands! <laughs> We have to go all the way over there? Oh man. Why do I always get sent to the other side of the airport? Why? Why is that? Oh yeah, okay. 36L, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I knew there was a 36 in there somewhere. Yeah, because tiny plane, yeah. <laughs> Because reasons. <laughs> but it does look great. I mean, come on. That's a beautiful airport, actually. That's pretty cool. These things actually work. <laughs> no silence plays in the background. <laughs> Enjoy the sound of silence. And yes, I like the original version a bit better than the uh, disturbed one. <laughs> I'm old school like that. Stay on target. Another copyright claim. <laughs> Not if it's under four seconds. Then I'm then I'm fine. Then I'm fine. Exactly the Simon and Garfunkel version. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly the Simon and Garfunkel version. Although I do appreciate a good cover. Or homage. <laughs> no, you're not. You are not. But I may be. Then again, I'm a, I'm a man, so we never get past the age of 12 mentally. So there's that in my defense. <laughs> you see? <laughs> I mean, the only way you can tell the age of a man is by the expensiveness, expensiveness of their toys. The more expensive, the older they are. <laughs> oh really I have to no I have to cross another highway I do where are they taking me to the center of Munich what's going on <laughs> yes well we have this lovely parking garage <laughs> seeing as you got a nice little airplane Wait, what? <laughs> I might be, Mouse. I might be. I really am starting to think they're sending me into Munich. <laughs> exactly. We don't advance past the age of 12 to 15. No, that's it. That's it. We, we're like mental Peter Pans. We never grow up. Yep. <laughs> I'm a guided bus tour, yeah. <laughs> exactly, Flo. Oh my. Where are we going? I have no idea. It's somewhere over there. <laughs> exactly the Seinfeld theme song. Oh my. No, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I, th I think we're reaching our destination, guys. Our final destination. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Back to the runway. <laughs> yes, yes, you have to, well, you have to get take this runway, then you have to uh, take off. Land on the other runway. <laughs> I do 
don't... <laughs> well, that would be spectacular, wouldn't it? A meteor striking me. Funk. Ow. Yeah, <laughs> longest dreams are your clear for stake off. <laughs> Please head to runway uh, zero 08 left. <laughs> Take off again and fly for at least another hour. <laughs> thank you for uh, for for this, guys. I really am enjoying myself, and thank you for uh, thank you that you are enjoying yourselves as well. I, I really think it's great. I mean, let's face it, in the end, it's just a simulator. It is. I need to go there! I need to... Hello? 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 I need to go there. Why do I have to go here? What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jenner. Thanks, Jenner. You're welcome. Glad I can make you smile today. If you can make one person smile today, you did a good job. <laughs> Is this the real life? Is this not fantasy? I don't know. I think I'm caught on a landslide. No escape from reality. <laughs> I'm not a... Yes. Yes, I am. But that's just between you and me. Oh, we're nearly there. I can nearly smell it. I can smell my parking spot. Oh, look at those pretty planes. Pretty. I have to get that close? No, I'm not. That's an assurance hazard if, if there ever was one. That would be like, think, 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 think. <laughs> exactly, I can still crash. It's the fumes that's going to my head. Maybe I'm going a bit too fast here. No, that's too slow. 11? 11? Yes, 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 yes. Do I hit 10? Yes. Ooh, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Basically, the taxiing took as long as the entire flight. That's nice. That's a pretty plane. What's that? Oh, I think that's the, uh, the diamond one. Ooh, that's cool. I like that one. Pretty. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, going back inside, going back inside. We're nearly there. Yeah, and then crash. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to disappoint you guys. <laughs> oh, finally, he's here. <laughs> We're there, we're there. Are we there? Are we there yet? No, no, I want it perfect. I want it perfect. Yep. Is that perfect? I'll take it, guys. I'll take this. I am shutting down my engines. Ah, we are here. Bing, bing, bing. Yes, okay. Yes, 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 yes. So we turn off the news. And another flight is done. All right, we took uh, about three hours. That's actually an hour longer than I expected. Yeah, three hours, 11 minutes, huh. So, thank you, thank you, thank you guys, thank you, thank you. Ah, yes, and on to the next flight tomorrow, 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 yes, okay. Ah, oh, that was great, guys. That was great. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the raid. That was awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I'm happy. I'm happy, guys. I landed this. This was my second flight of many, many, many more to come. So, yeah, stay with me if you want to see the rest. And we'll have a lot of fun during the time. Because, hey, once you're flying, you can have chats all the way. So, guys, thank you for joining me. And I'll see you again tomorrow. 
That's, you are quite welcome, Mouse. You are quite welcome. Thank you. And thank you for following me, Anna, uh, Anna Sar. Anna Sar Kawi. I have no idea how to. I call you Anna. Okay? Yeah. Let's keep it at Anna. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. And see you around. See you around tomorrow. I'll be streaming for hopefully from, uh, from 1 o'clock till about 4 o'clock again. So, yeah. That was good fun. That was good fun. Oh, I did. I did. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, have a nice day and see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>